Time has come to test my new spring steel sheet bed with PEI sticker on it. So stick around to see how well it performs. If you have seen my mail day episode number one, you know I bought new spring steel metal bed with PEI sticker on it. I did print some things on it and I love it, but let's compare those prints and bed adhesion with standard Ender 3 Pro flexible magnetic bed. For this test I have chosen three prints to test bed adhesion. Minimal layer adhesion, text hook, adhesion test and Matter Hacker's mascot Phil Ament. All the links to STL files are down below. Yes, I'm aware that this may have not been a best choice to do a filament test with Phil Ament, but I wanted to do this for fun too. Printer here is Printer Ender 3 Pro with stock hot end and original electronics board and drivers. I do have teal smoothers installed. A filament is from Dell Design, this is a Polish manufacturer, it's PLA. Hot end is set at 210 degrees Celsius and bend temperature is set at 60 degrees Celsius. Speed is set to 70 millimeters per second. So let's start printing. Of course, as it always happens, Mr. Murphy struck me again and the webcam mount has broken and I had to glue it with the tape. First the test was new spring steel bed and as you can see, more or less, it did great. Except for one problem with first layer in adhesion a test file on the right side. But everything finished printing great, all parts were still glued to the bed after printing and first layer, with a small exception, was really really great. Total print time for all prints was around 4.5 hours for each of the two beds I tested. We can even say that this print on a steel bed was uneventful and a little bit boring since everything was going very well. Let's now look at the finished prints. For start, I tried to lift print and a metal sheet, but due to, let's call it vacuum, under the metal sheet part did break off. Brim held in place nicely, but I managed to get it off uh, really easily with the plastic scraper. Next print is adhesion test uh, by Scorpa 1954. This cross really held nicely. On the right corner you can see a piece of filament and that was left for a problem with adhesion on the first layer. Purpose of this test print is to see if all far corners of the cross will still be glued to the bed during the print. And they were. I did have some problems early with the region flexible bed from Creality, especially with longer thinner prints where after parts start to cool they just peel off the bed and start warping. As you've seen prints did hold really good, I even managed to get it lifted. Bottom side of the print was mostly fabulous, there are some parts that show I have an even bed but 95% of the bottom was Perfect for my taste. And last print on this bed was Mr. Phil. Phil Ament. Nothing much to comment here except that it printed nicely, first layer has good grip. But that print is more nicer to look than adhesion test. Or is it? We will see at the end. And after a brief pause, it was time to repeat everything with the original Creality Flexible bed. Before I started to print, I did level the bed, did small test print, cleaned bed before doing anything else and I was ready to go. First print finished nicely. I was a bit afraid that it would just break near the end of the print and then... Yes, I was attacked by Spaghetti Monster. My fault was that I was not looking at the print, but it looked so good in the first print that I didn't think of it too much. As you can see in the upper and lower part of the print, it looked great, but left and right not so much. Filament didn't stick to the bed. 
um, looks like it was there too far from the bed or something. Let's just enjoy a few seconds until the attack of the monster. As you can see here, the print is already going wrong way or spaghetti way, but I wasn't near the printer or the computer, so I didn't see it, and unfortunately it started to mess everything up. Okay, no problem. When I finally did see it, I started to abort the print. It took some time for a printer to stop. As you can see, red light was already on, red LEDs. And then it was again time to clean the bed, remove the failed print and keep it as a memento. After finally cleaning the printer, I started and did bed leveling once again, just to make sure that I didn't mess up the first time. But I do not have BL Touch, so it was manual work. And after seeing that bed is level, it was time to restart the print. I started it once again, everything heated up, the print started, it even looked as though the left and right side that had probably the adhesion started to print correctly, but after some 15-20 seconds, you can see that spaghetti monster is attacking again. Unfortunately, as I wanted to finish this video today, I said that's it, I will not be doing any more printing on this Creality flexible magnetic bed and will go to another print. But I do promise, since I did order and it did arrive in the meantime, I will try to do it with BL Touch installed and see if bed leveling can improve adhesion on this uh, Creality Original bed too. Printing MetaHackers fill was really uneventful. It did print great once again, adhesion was great. So it was time to see how those prints that we just did are comparing to the prints that we did earlier with the spring steel bed. Here we are. So we have on the left side prints from the steel bed, on the right side from the Creality flexible bed. We will not go into details about uh, how successful the prints were um, because we are really interested in a layer adhesion and that's really a first layer that we print on the bed. There is a bit of difference. If you see, the left side is much shinier and on the right side you can see some imperfections. So, yeah, you can see difference between the quality and shyness of the first layer. If we look in more detail, you can see even better those perfections or imperfections between those prints. The print on the left is metal steel bed, print on the right is flexible creality bed. Now let's look for at fills. I didn't remove supports, but it's even better because you can see more clear the difference between the those two prints. On the left side here is a metal sheet print. On the right side you can see print from the Creality original flexible bed. Left side, you see that those lay layers of the first line are much closer. There is less imperfection. On the right side, you do see some uh, imperfections on the print, especially on the uh, upper left corner. And of course, the last thing we want to compare 
is this print with nearly perfect bottom against the Creality's not so perfect print. But as I said, I still want to try and print this specific item after I install my AutoBeds leveling to ensure that any imperfections in the level of the bed do not jeopardize the printing results for bed adhesion between those two materials. I wish I would have more or better results or conclusions, but unfortunately at this point I think that without further testing the spring steel bed does win a bit and the reason I think this is so is because this metal is more rigid and it can compensate a bit in terms of bed leveling if there are some curves in the uh, uh, bottom part of the uh, heated bed. That's why Creality is flexible bed because it's flexible, flexes a bit more and is less tolerant to imperfections in the bed itself. I hope that this video will help you. I myself am pretty happy with this new spring steel metal bed, but on the other hand, I was also really happy with my original Creality flexible bed. At this point on, I think my primary bed will be the new one, but I will definitely be keeping my old bed just in case you never know when you need it once again. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please press the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos. If you have any suggestion or comment regarding to this test or what you want me to see do in future videos, leave it in a comment uh, and I will try to answer uh, all the comments I get. Also, if you have any idea on how I could probably improve this test or redo it, leave it also in a comment and I will do it in the future. Once again, Thank you very much for watching, I'm out and I'll see you in two weeks in a special episode, it will be a double uh, episode where I will be doing a complete overhaul of the Ender 3 printer with all the stuff that I received and will, will be reviewed next mail day special edition episode. See you later, bye bye, have fun.